Josh won Big Paul. By one vote, Cody was the deciding vote. How do you like them apples? His, you know, one-liner before he voted kind of like showed that he deliberately voted for Josh to win. Um, they were like oil and water. But the sad thing is Paul wanted to work with Cody in the beginning and at some point and, you know, the battle back Cody. But Cody has pride. This guy, he sees the world, I think, in black and white. And he was like, no, I called it. I'm sticking to my original opinion. And I felt like it was a very personal and emotional jury that voted for Josh to win, to be honest. But, oh. but you know what? Josh did work. It's not like he sat there. He was not a floater. We didn't actually hear that term this season. Although some people did float. Yes, though they don't know that they floated. No, they thought they were <laughs> puppet masters. I know. <laughs> they said Alex was a puppet master. I think they figured out it was me and Paul. Cody also taking home America's favorite. Did that surprise you? It did. It did and it didn't. Um, I don't know if we're allowed to reveal by how much, but um, it was no question. Let's put it that way uh, without revealing numbers. I was surprised because in the beginning he was kind of like the prom king and then suddenly when he became on the outs and he wasn't running the show and he wasn't you know Mr. Popularity in the house he became that's when America started rooting for him we love an underdog um, it's weird to look at you know the picture of Cody as an <laughs> underdog you know he doesn't have any an ounce of fat on him seeing Jess and Cody reunite tonight still think they're gonna make it I do because of what Jessica said. Cody, that guy loves this woman. I think everybody sees that. I'm rooting for them. I think they have a chance. I love that. All right, Celebrity Big Brother is coming. What are you most looking forward to about this kind of different shortened game with famous people? You know, we think we know famous people because of the roles that they play on the big screen or the small screen. Uh, what I'm looking forward to is seeing uh, what happens you know, behind the magic, behind the hair and makeup, behind the curtain. So I'm looking forward to getting to know, even if it's a celebrity that, you know, isn't really on my radar. Um, I just want to see the human side of, you know, celebrities. Have you thought about more names you want to see in there? Um, I did. Who did I think of the other day? Oh, I was thinking, first I was thinking Pam Anderson, and then I thought, or Tommy Lee. And then when I thought of Tommy Lee, I was like, Axl Rose, and I started going down the whole, like, you know, um, glam rock metal bands. And then, did I see an ad tonight that Aisha's going to pop back on the talk soon? Aisha's going to be on the live Thursday show, co uh, guest co-hosting. So weird to put the word guest. Um, yeah, but, you know, she is forever a sister on the show. And anytime her eight jobs allow her to come in and pop in her old seat, that door is open and the seat is open, so yes. How have the last two weeks of, as you called it, dating been? The dating has been good. Well, the first week we knew they were, um, you know, just a drink. It wasn't even a dinner because the, these these guys, you know, the CBS primetime, you know, hunks, they have jobs. Um, so we knew that was just a, you know, it wasn't going to be a relationship. <laughs> but, you know, the first week of dating with Garcelle, I like Garcelle. You know, I'm going on more dates with Garcelle.